Welcome back to Anime Casuals. I'm Lucky. Here I go! This hand of mine is burning red! And I'm Michael. Realize the only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. Johnny. Your darkness swallowed up my son? Who decided that? Opting! Burning! Now all of you... Die! Die! Hello everybody, I'm Michael. I'm a Johnny. And this is Anime Casuals, the weekend talk number 143. <gasps> Yeah, get it out. Um, this is our weekend talk in which we uh, set up our anime that we're watching seasonally in hype order, and then we talk about them in that order. And we'd like to pick the hype or the hype order based on whichever episode was really good, not whether the series was good or not. So, our order this week is going to be. Kono Suba, Hell's Paradise, Doctor Stone, and then Demon Slayer, all episodes ten, because um, we we thank some of the series for pausing for a week, so now we can line them all up and finish them all up at the same time. Uh, brief warning: Even. we will be going on a three week break um, while I disappear out of the country. So thank you for bearing with us through that. So let's get started. Uh, our first one is Konosuba season one, episode ten. Um, and let's be honest, it was much better than our previous episodes have been. Um, Johnny and I predicted it, and basically this whole episode was Megamin and Yunyu doing stuff, and Cosma and Aqua kind of being in the background. <laughs> yeah, all their just little, you know schemes and like happenings that they have in the original mm -hmm. series you know we just get to see that from a different perspective it's all just kind of it's funny it's just fun that's all it really is yeah and um i'm gonna quickly kind of refresh myself uh right uh they kept going on quests which i thought was funny mm -hmm. and like the whole time while they were going on quests trying to join with new group like union was going like hey i'm useful i'm doing a bunch of intermediate magic and she is she's very useful and then megumin would go on things and either not be useful at all or be way too useful and really powerful and then people like hey you want to keep staying with our party and she's like i gotta be honest i can do that once a day and I'm only really useful if you're fighting giant things that'll kill you. And they're like, or outside, yeah, or outside. And they're like, okay, never mind. We don't, uh, we don't really need you anymore. <laughs> Solid points. Yeah. Goodbye. Um, and I just the the whole thing so far has been a lot more Konosuba than like most of the middle of the episodes. Like the first three episodes of the season and these pa these past couple episodes have been really like about that Konosuba humor. Um, and I think Johnny and I agree that we like spinoffs. But spinoffs are usually only good when they stay with the same thematic material from the original show or go completely in their own route. And they like hammer down a need that you didn't know you needed. This one doesn't really do, like, too much of either. It kind of finds its own middle route. Mm. And it's not quite enough Konosuba and not quite enough its own thing. Yeah, I think that's a fair way to put it. Um, I was going to say something about, you know, they kind of do it all right with, you know, the beginning being, being, really, being really good, then the middle being kind of lackluster for me. I mean, it, it was more Megamine, which was cool in its own right, but... It wasn't really why I was hoping to watch it and what I was hoping to see. Yeah. Uh, and then we're back to the end where I feel like it's being a bit more Konosuba, like you're saying. So I think that's a fair, uh, fair estimation. Yeah. It's just, yeah. But at the, at the moment of recording this, there's only two episodes left. And what bothers me is with two episodes left, they would have a lot of questions to um what's it what's it a lot of questions that they need to resolve and i don't think they are like yeah. the biggest question here and what this whole series could be about is chamusuke 
um, is what is the cat? What does it really look like? Why does it? That's Lady Wolbach, isn't it? Yeah, Lady Wolbach. Um, and like everybody's coming up, going like, "Who's this Lady Wolbach?" Like, and Megamine keeps going, "I don't know who you're talking about. I just have a cat. It's my familiar, and that's it." Are we gonna get that question answered, or is this whole season gonna come to an end, and then Konosuba is gonna answer that question? So. I I don't know, but I I, mm. I can assume a way and probably be pretty accurate about the whole thing is that this is just a lead up to the next season of Konosuba and Konosuba is going to be like, hey, this is Lady Wolbog. It's going to be this whole thing. Um, because I think we know from watching the couple of seasons of Konosuba, that cat doesn't do anything. Like, it's, it's just a cat, like the entirety of all the seasons. Yeah. So uh, I really – like, that's usually the problem with making a prequel – if it's too close to the original series, there's nothing much you can do with it. So, yeah, I don't know. I really like these past couple episodes of Konosuba, so I don't want to bash it super hard. No, it's been fine, but I think you're right. They have a lot of uh, questions to answer, mm-hmm. you know? And um, I think that would be interesting if that's how they follow up into the next season. But, man, that is kind of a long lead up. Yeah, I gotta be honest, but hey, who knows? I don't. I don't know if they if they answer if if they really go hard into it in the next season because I'd love to find out more about Megamine's sister, uh, this other demon, this that was talking to her last time we saw him. Um, also, you know whatever happened with her and the puzzle she solved. So mm-hmm. I they do have a lot of questions they could answer. Yeah, and I'm psyched for that. Uh, well, that brings us nicely to Hell's Paradise Season 1, Episode 10, uh, Yin and Yang. And in this episode, we learn a lot more about the Tensin, a new sect of people called the Doshi, which is like the Tensin's like, right hand. Um, Gabi Maru kind of interrogates the girl who saved him. And it looks like she kind of grew up a little bit, like got taller. Yeah, I noticed that. That seemed kind of odd. I, yeah, I don't know what that is. Which, like, she doesn't really answer if she's related too much. But we also learn about the their power, um, which they get from the Elixir of Life, called Tau. Uh, so, this, Tau. Was, this was a lore episode. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely kind of an education episode and uh, set up, you know, for more things to come. So Yeah, and our blind Simon is like, hey, you gotta feel the Tau. Uh, in order to fight these creatures. And I'm like, yeah, he can tell you that because he couldn't fight them unless he could feel the Tau. Or he's just really like, sent, he's like he's got that sixth sense going. Well, I think that's interesting because, I mean, they kind of go into uh, just a couple of different characters having their... They they have Tau, but, you know, they're all different. So yeah. I, I guess it comes across differently. So I don't know. I thought that was kind of interesting because, I mean, like you said, that blind guy is talking about you know, honing your senses, but I guess that's Tao because he's talking about yeah. it simultaneously with uh, while the while Groot is talking about it too. So I don't know. I thought that was all kind of cool. So I mean, I, I don't remember where else I've seen that. What anime where it's just it's the same power but it's different. I want to say it might be One Piece actually uh-huh. when they go to Skypea and it's just a different hockey. Like yeah, we call it um I don't remember, but they call it something different. So uh, I think that's really cool. Yeah, well, and that's also, like, I mean, a, a more easy-to-remember, like, thing is, like, when they talk about um, the Flash Step, which I, I know is a Bleach thing, but, like, in One Piece, there's multiple people who call this kind of instant movement, um, walking across the sky, mm-hmm. um, steel skin, like, all of those are powers that can make someone grander than a human, but also there's other ways of calling it. Like you have air walk and moonwalk. They're both the same same damn thing. Um you have that this like quick step thing, which Luffy learns how to do, and that's the same thing. So I I, I appreciate yeah. it when we have these kind of sim same, same but different mm-hmm. um kind of mechanics. Um and also this episode's making me more excited about Hell's Paradise, but I'm really hoping it's twenty four and not twelve, but it's probably gonna be twelve. Uh because yeah, I figure it's gonna they're gonna cut it in half. It'd be cool if it kept going, but I think that would just kind of throw off the season. So they'll probably take a break. Yeah. And then come back with it next time. Yeah. But it does every episode so far is gonna get me to think. Um also 
there was people banging at the end of the episode. And I like it kind of brings the question. What are God's going to do? Come on. Yeah, it was like kind of brings the question (laughs) if you could change your sex, like, would people just be like, yo, bro, you want to bang? And then, like, you know, they they change and they go, oh, yeah, we banged. And then they go off and do their own thing. Um, Because in the previous episode, they were also talking about what, what gender they prefer, why. And I'm like, when that girl said, she's like, yeah, I like it when everybody looks at me. And I'm like, who's looking at you? There's like six people here. Who else could possibly? Are you talking about the monsters outside? Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I don't know how often they're getting visitors. But or I mean, they live long enough to where it's like they remember when people used to look at them. But like, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I those two those two gods do do tend to bang a lot. So I don't know. Maybe that's that's what she's talking about. Like, yeah, you just keep looking at me, just keep, just keep squeezing me, and and we'll how keep you want to do it as this time, huh? huh? Yeah. We'll turn into dinosaurs, and I don't know. That's nuts. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Well, we didn't see that in this episode, but you know, <laughs> thank God, <laughs> thank anime God. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. So, Demon Slayer, uh, season three, episode ten. Oh, no, let's talk about Doctor Stone first. Sorry, mm-hmm. I, I was jumping ahead. Um, Dr. Stone season three, episode 10. Um, in this episode, we find out that you could make earpieces out of just gems and minerals. Yeah, that was pretty And they fun. last forever? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely fun, fun to see because they're talking about that and how it's like, so how long is this going to last? Like, what are you talking about? Why would it run out of battery? It doesn't have any. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> also, also, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Um, I mean, it makes it apt that th- that episode was called Science Wars yeah. because it's like uh, they had a lot of fun going like, hey, we're the science team and you're the spy team. And they kept tra- dressing the ladies in Ginro uh, up in like spy outfits while they're like trying to infiltrate. Um, and that that whole thing, I was really I was really digging. And then they made an RC car. Yeah, that looked a like a rat. espionage uh, RC car. To go get information. Also, Johnny, let's be so fair. fun. That thing should not work the way it does. No, it absolutely should not. It, it, it reminds me of um, uh, Donkey Kong City <laughs> from the new Mario Party movie. Where it's like, they can control their go-karts. Yeah. You can't control that drone thing. I, I mean, to be honest, I don't know how much of everything they've done in this anime that should work as well as it has. But... Yeah, that RC car was a little, a uh, little funky. It went like up a wooden, a wooden like pathway, and then it jumped over to another one. I'm like, you couldn't have planned that. You can't have planned that. No, I don't know. I don't know how you do that. The science of sound, like rotating magnets, does make a motor, mm-hmm. which eventually wears away because of friction. But like, that's not because so it's not infinite energy. But I was like, come on, guys. What you know? It is a drone going to be just as implausible as this RC car? Like, are they going to be like, and yeah, we can control it by the refracting the sun's light into each uh, motor, and then it like <laughs> it'll turn in different directions. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> that, I don't know. That's going to be really crazy to see. Because yeah, I don't know. I mean, an RC car is one thing. I mean, forget about what that thing can do. But yeah, drone is nuts. I don't. I don't know. I, I it's a know. whole nother level of of just of craziness, fine tuning mechanics. Yes, I don't know. And the fact, like engineering, uh, um, I still don't remember his name. But the mentalist is like he does like Senku. Oh, what are we gonna do? And he's like, oh, we're gonna wrap these copper wires around these pieces of metal, and they're gonna turn into uh, into motors. And then he goes, what else? We're just gonna keep doing that because we're gonna make a hundred hundreds of them or thousands of them. And I'm like, mm-hmm. yep. Classic Senku science. Do something ad nauseum until like you have enough of them. <laughs> that was uh, it was really good. I'm um, trying to remember what else happened in the episode that I really liked. Um, there was a note sent back to Senku, so they got to like figure out the mentality of our gorilla girl, and that was kind of funny. Uh, Ginro's whole thing where he's like. A letter? A letter? Oh, I know what a letter is. And then it shows him, like, sitting next to, uh, um, was it 
Ginra. Like their names are really close to each other. Sinro? The what? guy the guy with the glasses. His name is very Oh, because I'm pretty sure Ginro is the one that didn't get turned to stone. Kinro with a Kinro K. is the one who did get turned to stone. Yeah. Yes. So Kinro is like sitting in his chair writing the Japanese alphabet out. And then Ginro All comes right. up and he's like, What are you doing? He's like, learning how to write a letter. And he's like, Oh, I'll sit down too, because it might be important. And then they're like, What was the problem with that? You you did it. And he's like, Wait, was that just fantasy? And he's like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Yeah, man. He's he's convinced himself that he did it and going, oh, wait, I didn't do it. It's a powerful imagination right yeah. there. I don't know how you uh, you do that kind of stuff. I don't either, but it's really funny. It's definitely like, <laughs> see it, do it. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, we also found the Soyuz, uh, which is like in a lump at the bottom of the tree. So um, I'm kind of looking forward to hopefully this season ends with figuring out what actually petrifies people. I won't be upset if we don't find it out this season, but I don't want to wait three more years to figure it out. Yeah, it'd be nice to find out just a, some, just one piece of big information. One piece. Da, 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 okay. da, da, da. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Stone. that was Dr. Stone. And that brings us to our final one, the cutest episode out of all four of these. Um, season 3, episode 10 of Demon Slayer called Love Hashira Mitsuri. Kanroji. She is the best. She is the best. She is the best. Hashira. She's pretty awesome. Like, I thought uh, we were talking about, like, before the episode, like, we like Rengoku. Rengoku's a great guy. Probably, definitely ended before, it, like, we really got the meat and potatoes of Rengoku. Yeah. I don't really care about, uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. I probably won't be able to. There it is. Muichiro, the Mist Hashira. He's kind of funny. I like him. Um, but so far, like, the sound guy was interesting, but not really that powerful. Uh, we have the Beast, the Snake Dude, mm. which is kind of interesting. We have the Butterfly Girl. We have the other Water Hashira. Like, we have all of these people who seem really strong, but so far we've not been able to really see what they can do. Anytime we've seen one of them in action, besides the sound ninja and Rengoku, they've just been fighting like pretty lower class demons. Now we're fighting these upper moon demons and Rengoku kind of got his stuff pushed in. The sound ninja kind of got his push stuff pushed in. And so far we're seeing two other Hashira really do well against these upper moon demons. And I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I mean, it, it's faster than I expected, but I'm not. I'm still not hating it. I mean, the fights still look really good. I mean, yeah. they're still really fun. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just Jar Guy. I feel like he got taken out really fast. He did. I mean, even um, I, I don't know what to call him Emotion Guy, Emotion Demon. I think he's up for uh, four. Four. Uh, I don't know. He's at least taking a bigger fight, and his fight is a bit more interesting i don't know it's just cooler so i mean it's still going fast but i don't hate it it's you know tanjiro and the crew or they're fighting uh, hokage and that's yeah. what it is i can't wait till he makes like the thousand hand buddha yeah <laughs> yeah just all dragons <laughs> and him just screaming that would be really funny well that's what was insane is like when uh mitsuri uh well we get to see a little glance of her past when she's tiny yeah. and she is the most adorable little child and when she's like, I'm really strong, and she is really strong. And then she goes from brown hair to pink and green hair, which apparently is from her eating too much mochi. And I was like, cherry blossoms, do they do that to your hair? Because I know if you eat too many tomatoes, you're red. If you eat too many carrots, you're orange. Do you... But that's your, like, your skin turns that color. Yeah. If you eat too many cherry blossoms... Does your hair turn pink? I I don't know. I mean, even still, cherry blossoms are only pink. I mean, she had what? Pink and green. Brown and green in there? Yeah. I mean, that color combination is crazy. I don't know. Throw in some watermelon rinds? I don't know. <laughs> I'd probably do red hair. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I, I'd try and find some red mochi, I guess. <laughs> and then just have it always up. 
so you can like like look like you're on fire yeah yeah uh Ooh, or you do yellow just be super saiyan all the time oh johnny look at the camera somebody can do some art for you go <laughs> post it down below so we can see it okay or at anime casuals real at gmail.com and we'll, we'll get it there <laughs> someone with a much more skill than me yeah um i just i really like the fight in this one because it has this like she's a gymnast and gymnasts have to be really strong as well and she get her whole fight choreography is about being a gymnast like she does rotations mm -hmm. she like throws her like ribbon a gymnast ribbon around to block damage um it's just kind of crazy uh it's it's definitely a fun fight to watch just every time because all of her movements are i mean like you said they're pretty they're pretty cool it's a lot of gymnastry and gymnastry that's a word uh new word throw it in a dictionary. admittedly i thought it was going to be more like um i i mean not knowing the exact country but like that there's this i think it's an indian sword that is kind of like that it's literally a sword but it's a long thin piece of metal and it kind of just like flops around kind of like that yeah. I didn't know if it was going to be more like that, but it's definitely more of the gymnast ribbon routine. Yeah. But that's still really fun to see because I I feel like in no way should it work. And, and it does. And it's great to watch. And she's really strong with it. So, I mean, I, I can see how this season of Demon Slayer is going to go in the next two episodes. Mm -hmm. You're going to just see two badass Ahashira and then Tanjiro is going to get the new blade and he's going to go to town. We're going to have to see if anybody else has a a nice, happy backstory like her. She which does. actually, it worries me. I'm not going to lie. Because she has a good backstory. I feel like that's going to come back at her. Well, and that's like, Rengoku had a really sad backstory and he passed away. So I'm like... True. I guess that is opposite. No yeah. one's safe. All she's trying to find is someone as strong as her to love. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's all she's trying to do. So uh, thank you all for tuning in. Um, hopefully we will see a few episodes kind of, uh, spiral off the next couple of weeks. Um, some reviews, if I can get them done, um, tomorrow. Um, otherwise, um, we will see you again in a couple of, uh, about three weeks where we come back, review, uh, the season finales and whatever new anime we are going to watch. Um, please, uh, share with a friend, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And we really do appreciate any views. Um, I want I threw this in on our broken version of the recording, but I see you silent grain plays. Um, thank you for commenting um, all about Konosuba. We really do appreciate it. Um, even if you just tune in for the Konosuba content, um, we appreciate every view. So, and with that, we have a message we would like to give all of you. You need to keep it casual. casual.